folks, do you know what the most valued document is Uncle Sam can confer on a deserving nephew? Correct, it's a furlough pass. And if the lucky possessor is stationed anywhere near the middle Atlantic states, it's cash to Crullers that he'll head directly for the most famous skyline in the world. Yes, New York City, once a more or less dignified metropolis, but nowadays just another GI playground, completely at the service of servicemen on the loose. Of course, some of the boys have been here before and know the address of every uh, point of interest. <coughs> Others in town for the first time have no particular plans. All they want to do is a bit of casual sightseeing, get a close-up of a skyscraper or two, and Rockefeller Center provides an ideal opportunity. It's one place where everybody, young and old, goes in for necking. Gosh, look at the height of that darn thing, will you? Seventy stories tall. And from the roof, you can really give little old New York the once-over. Uh-huh, that's Fifth Avenue, right below. And sometimes through a telescope you observe the strangest things. Hey, lay off, sister. Don't mess around with the Navy Sea, or you'll get this. And now a Nichols Fair right from the heart of Manhattan is Coney Island. And today the mere civilian there is as rare as caviar in the GI mess hall. Darn near as exciting as a ride in any army jeep. To seven million New Yorkers, Coney Island has always been fun headquarters, and the Army and Navy are learning why. Photographs taken Coney Island style. Wait till the boys back at the post take a gander at this one. This'll be something to really pin up. That's fine, soldier. Hold it. And at the end of the day, they still have plenty of stamina left. No, not quite, my friend. Try again. Ah, that's more like it. That rings the bell. What does a paratrooper do on a furlough? Rides an airplane. And if you'll pardon the expression, he's going around with a lot of interesting people. It looks like a busman's holiday for boys from the air service. But the girls in the whirl make it genuine GI fun. Out on the Pacific coast when furloughs come around, San Francisco gets a big play from the services. Yup, fellows, that's a cable car, and when it reaches the end of its run, it has to be turned around. If you want to see the town from the top, you start at the bottom and go up Knob Hill. Today, the conductor has been replaced by a conductorette. No wonder the boys are being so helpful. To the lads from the Corn Belt, this Toonerville trolley is honest to goodness GI fun. Hang on, soldier, she's gaining altitude. San Francisco has many attractions from the Barbary Coast to the Golden Gate, but nothing surpasses a cable car for really hitting the town's high spots. And now on to another location. Training in Florida today are men and women from every state of the Union. And one of the first questions they always ask is, where can I see an alligator? So when the boys and gals get a little time off, chances are many will head straight for the famous St. Augustine alligator farm. Yes, sister, this is a Florida gator, a young one. When it grows up, it will probably be a pocketbook or a suitcase. These spars have never seen one before, and if they never see one again, well, that's all right, too. Scram, buddy. And this is where the older boys get their daily dose of vitamins. But it looks like a terrible place to drop in for dinner. The food is simply thrown around, the service is nothing to speak of, and the customers are definitely bad customers. Yes, sir, it's a scene to be filed away in your memory book under the letter N, as in nightmare. This is horse meat, and if it comes from the fourth race last Thursday at Tropical Park, boy, they are welcome to it. Hey, look at these crazy gobs. They're on leave, so, of course, they're also off their base. 
Reading gate, let's elevate. Man, this will make a nice surprise for the boys back at the station if they can only land it. Easy there, fellows. Play them easy. Ah, uh, not too fast. Uh-uh, too bad. Say, here's a sport that has never been very popular, but trust a sailor to try anything once. No deck of a ship was ever like this. Avast there, my hearty, a little more to port. No, a little more to starboard. Well, all ashore, who's going ashore? <laughs> Say, maybe this one will provide a little more action. Is there a doctor? I mean, is there another sailor in the house? Okay, step up, son. Let's get a look at your footwork. Hmm, very fancy. A GI's idea of fun depends on where he's stationed. If it's near California, Yosemite National Park offers a lot to the man who really wants to see America. Here the boys are investigating a giant sequoia tree. Verno Falls is typical of the beauty of this famed park. Too bad the folks back home can't see this grand scenery. Ah, but there's a way to show it to them. A camera is usually part of standard furlough equipment in this neck of the tall timber, and shutters click when a view like this turns up. Many of the men in service today have the opportunity to really see this great country of ours. They're learning what the word America really means. They're learning that she's big and beautiful in appearance and the kind of country that was made to order for man's freedom. This is the kind of country America has been from the beginning. This is the way it will still be centuries from now. Yes, take her picture and pin it up, fellows. She's worth fighting for. And now back to Florida where the GI boys are snapping camera shots of a different sort at beautiful Cypress Gardens. Here's a souvenir for you, sister. Say, a lot of camera bugs out today. Also, a lot of non-camera bugs, but interested in the scenery just the same. There seems to be an extra man around somehow. At Cypress Gardens, the Army gets a chance to engage in naval maneuvers, and here a couple of visiting firemen are putting out to sea, convoyed by three trim escorts. Ah, a picture of grace and beauty. Hello, Grace. This is the kind of furlough a soldier will never forget, especially if he should land on his ear at 40 miles per hour. And this is where the soldier calls it quits. And now for landing operations. The situation seems well in hand, and that about winds up the GI fun for today. For tomorrow, these boys from 48 states have fighting jobs to perform all over the map. Break it up, soldier. Furlough's over. And sister, don't be downhearted. My guess is he'll be back for more GI fun the very first chance he gets.